Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. Well, this is very exciting because you guys have heard me talk about Seeking Sister Wives for two seasons now. And I have what you guys reminded me that I describe as the attractive black vegan couple here. <laughs> is that what we're called? <laughs> and also a little hippy dippies. They're a little yeah, hippy dippy. And so I've got Dimitri, the husband. We have Ashley, wife number one, for better words, will describe what you to see yourselves as and Vanessa wife number two who's new to this potential. season potential. okay but a potential <laughs> sorry um which is season two of the TLC seeking sister wives well I was very excited because a they were here on time in fact they were early because they <laughs> live in the neighborhood I'm not going to tell you where they live but they don't live too far from where I record so that we was very that nice <laughs> and um also very surprising is that Ashley has like an incredible figure oh, that goodness. has not at all been featured on the show. <laughs> As you sit with like a baby strapped to you and some other whatever outfit. Like now she's wearing like skin tight camouflage. Like I know the baby was newer back then, yes. but she got it all going on. So congrats. <laughs> Thank and you. Vanessa's beautiful, and Dimitri's got a vest on. Will you guys will post a little video. Like, everyone looks very nice leading up to the attractive black family. Okay, so there it is. So, um, what was so interesting is first of all, I know a little bit about your background in that, and you can describe it that when you guys met as a couple, I think you said you met in 2009, I saw in some mm -hmm. other interview, yes. that right off the bat, you talked about this being a lifestyle that that Dimitri wanted and that you had heard about and wanted. So you want to speak a little about that, of just how it came about? Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, it was something that I came to um, in the freshman. I was still trying to show up myself. Can I have to send to myself? No, you can say whatever okay, you so want. Like, well, I have a potty mouth. So. <laughs> no, you can say whatever, All so right. do I. So when I was fucking younger, uh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was still trying to sort myself out, right? And trying mm -hmm. to define what it was I was trying to accomplish um, and how I was trying to define my manhood. And one of the ideas I had, the visions and versions of the perfect family was one that was feminine-centric. So once I came to that declaration in my mid-20s, every woman I dated told me to get the hell away. <laughs> Like, so now, were you did you go to college? I did not. Actually. Okay, so where not. did you grow up? What city? So I grew up in lots of cities, but primarily I was born in Buffalo, New York, and then raised between there and Boston. And did you come from a traditional home? A, a monogamous home. I don't know if it's traditional. Okay. But yeah. So you, so you, had, you had the mom and dad home? Correct. Yeah, okay, got yeah. it, got My it. My father was born in Havana, Cuba, so he uh, was in the Vietnam War. He's pissed off at everyone. Okay. You know, my mom is feisty as well, you know what I mean? So um, very old school. And are they still together? Yeah, but they don't like each other. But okay. you, know, you know how that yeah. works. Yeah, you get to that point where it's just like, well, I, you know, we're just gonna ride this thing out. Okay. <laughs> so, uh -huh. But no, they're, they're still together. Um, it's been like forty years actually. They just celebrated their forty years. Wow. Oh, yeah, forty years. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, um, when I finally met Ashley, so so going through everyone telling me no, I decided if I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail fast. Mm -hmm. So I decided to be very clear and say, listen, this is my vision and version of the family unit. What do you think? Tell me now. So we can conclude this this evening or carry on. So when mm -hmm. I met Ashley, I was just like, hey, this is, you know, again, this is my vision and version of the family unit. What do you think? And she didn't say no. And what did you <laughs> think when you first heard that? Had you ever seen, like, what did you ever think growing up seeing the polygamy, besides you probably not liking the outfits of the hair? <laughs> Was there any other thoughts you had about that as a lifestyle that we've seen? We've seen in TV and movies and in the news. I actually love the Mormon braid. I you like the I you like that Mormon braid? braid? She, she makes fun of me. I do it all the time. She's wearing the braid. Okay, yeah, I yeah. Um, I studied anthropology, mm -hmm. so I'd already had experience. She did go to studying college, it. right? Yes, uh huh. And I thought it was beautiful. I, you know, I feel like everyone should take an anthropology one on one course, right? Because it helps you be objective when you're, you know, seeing new ideas for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, wow, I didn't know, you know, that this was a thing that people were doing outside of the textbook and in current, you know, right. times. And okay, let's see, you know, what we could do here. I did require him to stop eating macaroni and cheese. 
<laughs> and frozen vegetables and things like that. You are just I've the food always police. been. I you are am. just a right, big right. bummer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bummer until you learn until you how learn. you can cook. And then people were like, damn. Well, listen, by the way, I was helping. I ate vegetables. They were just frozen and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. right. You yeah. know what I mean? And then with Vanessa, like, what, how, what was your experience with ever seeing polyamorous or sister wives type of relationships growing up prior to getting involved with them? Yeah. So um, for me, um, I had seen the sister wives show when it right. first came on like 10 years ago, right. watching episodes or so. And I was like, okay, well, good for them. Well, they're doing their thing. That seems crazy. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but I had never really thought about it. Um, you know, I'm 34 years old and I haven't like settled down yet and hadn't settled, haven't settled down. I yeah. <laughs> haven't settled down yet. So I was like, um, kind of being, um, thinking, you know, what, what, what am I going to do? Because, um, I love men exclusively. Let's get that out there. Everyone thinks Ashley. So everyone thinks, it. yeah, everyone <laughs> thinks that there was, cause the, when you came in with the sparkling cider, <laughs> the first night of the, oh, when you just thought, when you said that you're going to now move. <laughs> I thought there intimate. was giddiness. There was something. I thought there was sexual chemistry among the three of you. That's so funny. I think but, that's the observer's perspective, right? That's yeah, when yeah. everyone wanted that. It was, happen, yeah. But yeah. It was a nicely lit, dim lit room. Yes. I think they had music playing over. Yeah. <laughs> they, they did. Interesting music for when we come on. Like, right. Yeah. You know. Okay. So to get that clear, you two have never gotten no, together. No. 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 And have you ever gotten together with previous girlfriends that have come into the family no. that haven't worked out? No. no. And I've never slept with women either. Really? No. Look, I was so well, I mean, I was so neither have I, but I feel like I, she had that look I, no, but like, I feel what? I feel like nowadays just you even being like ten years younger than me, I feel like that's such a something that like everyone's like checked off their box, especially you, women. You I would just that. talk about you that know, too, like all a lot of my friends, you know, identify or as tried queer, it. Yeah. Or, and and yeah, and so I'm like but I they're just a little bit younger than me than like by like a year. I was like, I think I just missed that right. cusp of where everyone's just kind of free and I think it's beautiful, but I just don't have that desire. Well, I don't one thing wrong I thought with me that I don't have that desire. Interesting when you came and you talked about it in one of the scenes and you're like, I, I love men, but I love that girlfriend roommate sister vibe. Yes. And it's like, it's so, um, so I, my best friend is my sister, but I also went to an all girl high school, lived in a sorority, lived with girls before that. And I used to always joke because I was like, guys always think these sorority girls are like, you know, going down on each other. I'm like, yeah. no, we'll yeah. sleep in the same bed seven days on a vacation be wasted. Yes. I've never gone to touch your tit. Like yeah. it's right, never right. I think that's happened. The thing. It's yeah. Like, women, we can be intimate with each other in ways that don't mean that we're sexual. sexual. Yeah. Right. You know, like I'm completely, my best friend in high mm -hmm. school, we would have sleepovers and she would like, put her feet on me and it would drive me insane. But for her, that was like her oh, way we would of do, like, Yeah, we do the massages, back yeah, rubs, yeah, like yes, tickle back, yes. like but all that. a different type of intimacy. Like the, yes. the very intimacy is watching of... Downton Abbey together. Yes. Like we would just like, you know, so I knew obviously with the guys I've dated and if it was just me and monogamous relationship, you can watch, have guys watch shows with you. And there's yeah. some guys who watch shows or you watch by yourself, but I just really realized this would be the best of both worlds. Like yeah. I would get to sleep with eventually <laughs> a hot husband and have an awesome best friend. So how did you come in contact with each other then? So I'll try to give it short. I'm so long winded sometimes. So I love TV. Love yeah. it. We'll watch anything. I was on Twitter one day Damn, and I saw the lying. show Seeking Sister Wife trending. And I was like, oh, I've heard of the Sister Wife show, but is this a new show? And everyone was talking about um, a, one of the wives from – the first family so this was last season right and i was like oh this sounds really juicy yeah um this lady sounds nuts i'm gonna go check this out right now and so yeah. by that time two episodes had aired and i watched them both and um i was like oh my gosh this show is amazing my roommate came home i was like you gotta watch this show with me you know the three other families and then ashley dimitri come on and i was like wait what like people who practice polygamy look like this right and not religious not yeah. religious they this good they like, this good? <laughs> no, but they just, well, apparently I, I didn't look that good I was wearing frumpy frump I mean yeah. not right. compared to <laughs> camouflage <laughs> Barbie she's here she's got some cute yeah. clothes yeah, she, she does. does she does we'll do a full body shot before you leave <laughs> so people can see what I'm doing. on the table for <laughs> dance yeah. form yeah um, so at first I, I just was like though this is amazing I just thought their their story was so interesting and stuff and joked with my girlfriend I was like oh yeah like I could do this but still just did not even consider it by the fourth episode they were just like getting along so well just the way they communicate I was like 
they'd have to be actors. I don't believe they're a real couple. So I was like, I'm going to snoop because I'm super nosy. And I found his Instagram and I was going through the pictures and I was like, oh, this is them and their kids and their, this is their real life. And as I was scrolling, They're not paid checking, actors. Yeah. <laughs> I was liking some pictures. I liked four it or five. It was like 50 pictures. I would never, man. he says this, I would never Every like, time, because it was a bunch n- of pictures. His number gets larger and hers his gets smaller. I like four or five. It was 5,500. Yeah. She's like, it was yeah. two. So anyway, <laughs> it was enough to um, catch his attention. Right. So when I woke up, he had commented on one of my photos on Instagram. And I was like, Dimitri from Zika's sister wife. I was like, I love you and Ashley. And then he slipped into my DMs and was like, you know, thank you so much, you know, for the kind words. He's like, we've had some backlash and stuff. And he's like, "Um, I told Ashley, um, don't worry about it. After this, if we find our forever wife, I know she's a keeper. And just the way he said that, I was like, he's kind of fishing for me right now. Like, oh my God, like, what did I, what did I do? Did I like lead him on or something? And I was like, oh, well, you know, hang in there. You'll find someone who's on your same um, wavelength. Um, And he's like, oh, you know, was very respectful and understood. And then we started following each other. And I was kind of like, you know, something back in my mind was like, okay, well, something, something there. But um, anyway, so fast forward to the season finale a couple weeks later. Um, we're watching, and they went on a j- date with Jakir. Are you okay? <laughs> you went on the date with the stewardess, right? No, no, no. This was so. This was after that. Okay, because the stewardess yeah. was first. So well, the I- stewardess was the girl that you boned too soon. Yes. For um, so eloquently for said, Ashley's yes. <laughs> liking. Appreciate, yes. appreciate that. Yes. But so actually, that was the the episode that made me investigate because I was like, oh wow, like that's why like, we were trending, by the way. Well, the, <laughs> yeah. No, you weren't then. I'm sure you trended again after that. Yeah, it was I'm sure. the, the other wife that was making it trend oh, the, right, for the right. second episode. <laughs> But I was, you know, with the rest of the people watching, I was like, oh, God, what's she going to do to him? Like, what? But then seeing how they handled it in such a mature manner, I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, yeah, you have a lot of love here. Like, I am I'm was in the process of trying to get to that level of just understanding and like, hey, everything doesn't have to be so black and white in relationships, you know? Mm-hmm. So it just really stuck out to me. But anyway, fast forward to the J with um, Jakira, where they went to the painting date and had the wine. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I remember now. Um they're having the wine and um, she got real quiet and kind of awkward. And I was like, why is she being so awkward? I was like, if I was there with them, I was like, I'd be having a blast. I was just talking to my roommate. I was like, I'd be yeah. having wine, we'd be painting. And I was like, I really had this like wave of emotion. I was like, like an oh, epiphany. God. Yeah. I was like, should I be there? I was like, I think I'm kind of everything they're looking for. Wait a minute. And <laughs> I think that's yeah, it. <laughs> I know. And I was like, am I having a stroke right now? And my roommate's like, well, you would be perfect for them, but this is like nuts. And I was like, well, I'm just going to reach back out. And what you're, you're so pretty. Now, what, so now you're, what's your ethnic background? Like, what's your, my father was black. My mom is white. Oh, okay. And yeah. are they still together? Um, no, my father passed away oh, um, about 10 years ago. That's okay. Um, but so interestingly, my mom um, and my stepmom um, have been like best friends since oh, I was little. Oh, so your little. parents divorced and your yeah. dad got Mary married. married. Yeah, but and we, now and once he passed, they, they've always been close. Always been. We've always done everything together. That's so, so I nice. grew up with like sister wife moms. Yes, kind of. yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. really nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. And what's your parents' background? Like racial. No, like here, get on the mic. Oh <laughs> no, like <laughs> I, like we met we met you, we met your mom. <laughs> We met your mom, yes. and she was not a fan of this whole thing. Never been. Never been. Yeah. And but wish did you did did she be raised with your father? Was she traditionally married? Yeah, my parents married? were married for eleven years. Actually, when I was eleven, they divorced. Okay. Um, and then uh, my mom didn't like my dad for a very 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 <laughs> long time. Uh huh. Um, and my dad is also against you know polygamy. Well, do they watch the show though? Um, my mom is watching. Uh-huh. She's watching. It took yeah. her a minute. Right. She's watching. I think because all of her people are watching. Yes. And she doesn't, you know, she needs to be in the know. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> now she's watching. Um, I don't know if my dad is watching. Interesting. Do you talk I, to him regularly? I do, but we never talk about it. Oh, my God. And it's kind of like out of respect, at least in my head. It's probably not. It's probably more fear. Yeah. But out of um, <laughs> respect for his position. Right. I don't need to throw that you know in his in his face but. so when so now you're like i think i want to meet these people mm-hmm. now did you guys meet or talk much before the second season started to film or were you like smart enough as an aspiring writer producer to say hold off until we start second season because we want it to be fresh and we think that there could be something here actually it was the opposite it was like we don't want them in our business 
we need to make sure it's you know it's real, real. before we introduce her. Yeah. Yes. So I did go and, and visit them mm-hmm. one time off camera, off camera. before yeah. filming. Okay. Yeah. 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 The network, you know, they weren't they. But did you? But you still hadn't had sex. So that, so with him. No. That time. No. 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 So no, no, no. what we saw was I learned my lesson. No, was is, was yeah. this, this, this is, longer courtship yes. that we saw. What you see is what you get. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 See then. Yeah. Okay. Everybody so, thinks I'm a control freak okay, so because you, of that. Though. So you come over to Atlanta and you hang out. Now, were you at all overwhelmed with the amount of babies under five? And that, like, that is kind of because a lot of people, including myself, was like. I can see why you'd want a sister wife. I mean, I had three little kids at one time and I like nope. his mom would come. Anybody that could come, I was just like, yes, yes. Come anybody save me. come because those ages are so cute, but they're like so exhausting, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, so, I mean, you have to, that is a benefit. Of course. Yes. I think anyone yeah. that thinks that it's not is delusional. Right. Yeah. Um, everybody wants support. I've been in my boss went before I was a parent. She used to invite me over to her house and cook dinner and things. And oh my God, it was just passing the baby back and forth. You take her so I can do this. You take you. Yeah. And I was just like, y'all need a sister wife. Yes. You and I always, I always remember when the show started, I would joke about wanting a sister wife for those same reasons. I remember being at a pool party and all the kids are like in the pool and all the moms are hanging out and all the guys are just going making barbecue They're and not like available. talking <laughs> and that's when this one girl goes this is why the sister wife thing works like we're all saving each other's babies from <laughs> exactly. like nobody cares whose baby it is Never. like so i mean okay so so i'm like don't want to jump ahead okay so so you have your one good meet your one good weekend and you guys are into each other and then is it like okay we're going to start filming are you down for it like, how did that come? That conversation come about? Yeah. So obviously, when um, I started talking with them, they said, you know, there's a, a possibility of a season. We two. actually didn't share with her initially that there was going to be a season two. Okay. Because I yeah. wanted to make sure that it wasn't because we're going to be on television. Right. So we actually had conversations. She we talked for a while, and like we never even talked about the show. It, yeah. it was just it was references to S one. That was all, but we never talked about season two or any of this. Like none of that even came up. Because we wanted to and, make sure. And for you, like, so you lived in Seattle mm-hmm. and you, you know, what was your job? What was your job that you were doing there? So um, in Seattle, I was a tenant rights counselor for okay. Washington State. So I worked for a nonprofit. So um, if what? people. Okay. Yeah, go on. So if uh, people were facing eviction or having issues with their landlords, I would break down the landlord tenant laws and okay, help well, them. Well, that's really boring. Oh, okay. so you, had a real, <laughs> so you had a real job. I had a real job. That's, okay. That's probably better for her anyway. Yeah, She's got a call. Thank you. Um, so, uh, okay. So you I had w- a real job. Yeah. Not an entertainment job. You had like a real, real nine to five. Yeah, I've always had real jobs. Wearing sensible pants yeah. or scrubs. <laughs> okay. Um, sensible. S- yeah. Scrubs. Well, actually, I was a dental assistant for 10 years before okay. I switched to oh, nonprofit. Okay. But right. um, I've also done acting. Like I have okay. an agent in Seattle and everything. And so when, before I went to go see them, um, you know, the the um, agency's kind of strict and they're like, you know, if you're going to do anything in the television world, like you have to, you have to let us know, we have to approve it and stuff. And so I was like, well, I need to just let them know like what, that this is, could be a possibility, like yeah. not to get the permission, but you know, so I just explained to him, my agent was like, I don't understand. Like, why are you doing this? This is like career suicide. And I was like, well, I, I live in Seattle. I'm not that gung ho about. Yeah, what's your career? Like, like, Seattle. Yeah, I was like, no, real, no, relax, no. relax. And I was like, I, don't, I was like, no, you don't understand. Like, I'm not doing this to be because of the show. It's like this is my real life. Like, I met them through TV, obviously, and seen them on TV. But like, I, you know, connected. I came yeah. with them. Like, we all like connect. This is like very real for me. So I was like, regardless of my non-existent career, I was like, I'm going to do this, and whether we're on TV or not, because at that time I didn't right. know there was going to be a season two. But I was like, I don't. I don't care. In some ways, it would have been nice if there wasn't because we just live our life and do what we want. But, um, you know, it's, I like just I like myself. I like being myself on TV. Too, yeah. So. so you guys all hit it off. Mm-hmm. You approve of her. And you guys are like, we're going to move to California. And you want to move to California because, let's be honest, you do like this business. You'd like to pursue it more. Be be somewhat continue being television personalities, correct? I mean, we can say that. Like, yeah, I think that's part of it. Yeah. Um, for sure. Um, I also have family here. Oh, okay. Um, and her family's on the West Coast as well. Mm-hmm. So, and 
so is his family. So okay. it just made sense for us. Right. If we are family minded that we be surrounded by a family. Um and then also too, yeah, we like to like to see where where this could take us. Yeah. And what was your business before? And was it hard to leave that in Atlanta? My business has been the same. So I you know, I'm I'm a experienced designer. I design okay. human experiences and if I have an internet connection in the airport I'm good. So what do you what do you mean human experiences? So um, it's called ontological. Yeah, ontological. What is it? it? Yeah. So because I, I don't want to bore you though. Well, it doesn't sound uh, human experiences. What do you mean? Like, is this like one of those? Uh, oh, yeah, like, yeah. like one of those things. Like a, a super rich person. It's like I want to see what it's be like to escape murder. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? I can arrange that for you. Yeah. <laughs> I just need fifty k down. I got you. Um, what is it like that? Like. Yeah, sans the uh, legality of it, yes, yeah. yeah. So, um, if if someone um, has created a new widget or a new service and wants to attract a demography and have a stickiness factor to those people, how can I make my widget the most appealing? Right? How can I make it so people think about me when I'm not around? Okay, right? so, so like a marketing sort of thing, like, like you can say that, but actually yeah. would build the product for you. So if you had a new makeup line or okay. a new whatever, you can do it all. I would like design the product, design the, the packaging, oh, okay. get it to market for you, and then help you and sustain the image, just... and the image, like okay. every, like everything from from you know product design to to shelf, right? Okay, um, but it could be in the form of software. Oh, okay. So if you have a service you want to put on online it could be a physical widget it could be you just want to have a really unique vehicle and you want it to be the, the most unique g63 amg series you've there's seen. literally so, nothing oh, you I can't see. do and it's really annoying so <laughs> it's like truth be told so let's speak about that i'm jealous <laughs> and on that note. So now you when you walked in you said now you've been part of this do you guys call yourself a thruple or no, no because, because that, a throuple the it, girls get together. Yeah, everybody would. I would okay, think. so but you and Dimitri have been a couple, committed couple. So okay, but you've been together for a while. Okay, right. so now one thing that appealed to me, I've been watching Sister Wives with Cody on and off for years, mm-hmm. and um, you know I was. It, it's, it's interesting because for the first time, I was like, he wants to move everybody from Utah to like, no, he wants to move them from, from Vegas where they each have their own homes and move them all to like Utah. And, he's, and all the women don't want to go. Mm-hmm. And I was like, God, this is the one benefit of being a sister wife because you have the majority. Well, you girls should all join together and just say, sorry, Cody, we're not it freaking going. Like, day. I wish I had someone that could go up against Peter with me, you know? Because I just Peter, pretty much have to said- no. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I either have to fight it and you don't want to, you know, because you don't want to get your kids involved. So yeah, it's like yeah. you want, you know, what you either have to go, okay, I, I give up or no, I'm going to fight this or what. Yeah. So have you guys found any times where maybe you feel a little ganged up on or that you guys can just go into each other's room and be like, oh my God, it's so fucking annoying right now. Like, can you do, you do that at all? I don't think we've gotten we to that we point don't, yet. I've been over, do, I have been overruled though. Yeah. Moving yes. here was because yeah. I did not want to fucking drive anything here. Okay. I wanted to just like get rid of everything and just just be here. Just right. like fly and just be here, right? Yeah. And they wanted to do a road trip and okay. they voted to have practical, a road trip. Practical, but practical. And then I you, wanted to do a road trip. And then, and then you have that weird military <laughs> truck and you're like, well, this is perfect for traveling across yes. the country. And I'm like, how much, what was the mileage on that? The gas? It's four the, miles, four miles to go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? Yes, it's only four. <laughs> and do you still have it here? Absolutely, I have what it. What is the point of it? Because it's pleasurable, okay? All right. I, I like it. it. That's, well, it doesn't it. go with your hippy dippy vegan life. <laughs> I know. You learn that. But you have to balance it. It's balance, right? So, like, I make up for okay. the gluten free, you know, reusable straws, but uh, that you, that you get for us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, organic plastic and shit, uh, but then I drive a truck that is highly inefficient when it comes okay. to Okay, I don't like the truck, but I, but actually, it what came in very handy when we needed to move, right, move all your it stuff. Did, it fit everything. But we do date night in it. We go to the grocery store. I can drive it. Like so, they, they... it doesn't move that often, but it moves more often than it should. Whatever. I should say that. <laughs> what do you mean? It doesn't move from the house. Can yeah, you park it on the? Can you park it on the street or the driveway? Or do you have to have a special place. Okay. Yeah. He and drives it like it's a like a Corvette. The way he can maneuver, I'm yeah. like, I would be squishing people left and right. In this so let's get into the thing everyone wants to talk about: the pH okay. balance diet, so yeah. that you don't. So you you said, okay, we're ready. She's moved here. Okay, I'm comfortable with. I think you guys are ready to move on. You both want to have sex with each other. We're seeing this on the show, mm-hmm. but. You're like, 
I am afraid of yeast infections and us passing it back to each other. So we've got to put her on a 21-day detox <laughs> alkaline plant-based diet. <laughs> and I mean, I loved seeing this on TV. I love the honesty. People don't talk about how fresh dick can cause yeast infections. No. In, a right. new dick really can. And, can. and it, it ain't can. that new, is it? You don't know it. Well, it ain't that no, but if it's a new person, if it's a new person, your pH. Yeah, yeah if a, a new yeah. person, and sometimes you get a couple yeast infections and then it just goes away. Yeah. But I was like, wow, she's actually really bringing up a good point. But my, so, so you did the 21 day diet. She's doing I'm it. I'm doing it. She's doing it. Oh, you're doing it. Doing okay, it. so you're on the 21 day diet. Mm -hmm. And how hard is it? So, with the 21 day alkaline diet, you know, I've, I've, I have, I'm having mixed feelings okay. about it. Um, it's great because it, you know, I've always wanted to be healthy. And mm -hmm. as I said in, I think, episode one or two, I'm a Pisces, left my own devices. I will just eat shit and eat pizza every day. Yeah. Um, so being in a, an environment, I really think I like manifested people who are going to help me, hold me accountable. It was only hard like when we would like go out to eat because, I mean, they eat very healthy, but they weren't eating alkaline at the time or completely alkaline at the time. So we went what to like. What is alkaline? Just all vegetables? No. no. But it's all certain kinds of yes. it's, it's, and how did you yeah. know that this diet would keep from getting you a yeast infection like it's, why is it that is not... super oversimplified it's so that everyone can understand the, the, the basic but the alkaline diet is actually to starve disease in your body period so if your body is highly alkalized, which means your pH is above a 7.5. But how did you know what her pH was? Did I you... don't know what her pH well, is. Well, you can but know by I eating pizza. It can't be that damn. That if she's eating certain <laughs> things that are acidic, oh, the way acidic. it's digesting okay. in her body, she does not have a, a, a um, neutral pH. So after the diet's done, mm -hmm. okay, then will you go back to enjoying food that's not that? And wouldn't that then still screw you up later? Well, so we, when I'm off the diet, we will all be basically eating the same thing. We cook at home. We cook all the meals. So you're together. never going to have another steak in your life? Um, probably not. What about a piece of fish? No. Yeah. So I just want to clarify yeah. something real quick. We are not vegans. But you're not <laughs> vegan. That is the assumption because yeah. we discuss plant-based, oh, okay. which is how we normally yeah. eat. Okay. But we... If we go out, for example, mm -hmm. and we want to have a, a, a piece of fish, yeah. it, I'm eating a piece of fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You ordered the salmon mindful. all my day. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You just are healthy eaters. Yes. 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 We're very conscious of our consumption, not just in food, right. though, in every way possible. Right. So what we put on our body, you know, yeah. the toxins in the environment. Like, there's only so much that we can actually control. Yeah. So we're going to control what we yeah. can, mm -hmm. but everything we can't control, we're just going to, you know. So no red meat, no chicken, no pork, no dairy, you know, stuff like that. But, you know. Fish. And it's not just about desire yeah it's also we have a lot of allergies in our family oh, okay so that's why it's important in the house we can't have dairy because what happens if neo goes in and grabs the ice cream on accident mm -hmm. that has milk in it that's going to affect his health okay so in the house we're very strict and it's deeper than just yeast infections and shit so now that you've been living together for a while so <laughs> There's two bedrooms for adults. You have your bedroom, and you have your bedroom, and you switch off nights of who sleeps with him. Or does eventually, he ever get to sleep alone? Eventually. I don't have a room. He doesn't have a room. <laughs> okay. And he's not happy about it. Okay. Yeah. He has an office. So yeah. eventually the plan is that, because <laughs> we're, we're, we don't want to spoil that, anything, so yeah. the plan is that we will share. We will switch. This ultimate. We'll have and have you ever thought about, like, when you just, it is your night, but you really just want to like watch your show and not have him, then do you put it in the eye calendar? I get like, sent to the other room. <laughs> so, and will, and, but then is it like, I want a bonus day or are you just like, I'm good? I mean, do you want an off the record answer? Yes. And she would always say, I only want, she would get these nannies from overseas and she'd say, I do a program so that in a year that nanny's gone, I never want that nanny to be so attached to my kids. Mm, and I just wonder, that, being yeah. that you're the sister wife and there's even a bigger relationship or just the same type of jealousy that someone might have with a stepmother or whatever, um, with a kid calling the stepmother mom by accident. And that always happens and people freak out. And I'm a stepmom and I've been with my, my daughter since she was very little, my stepdaughter. And I would always say, don't be mad because the kids literally 
you know, sometimes kids will call a teacher mom. Like they just, mm-hmm. they're, you know, they're not thinking mm-hmm. it's natural. It's this mm-hmm. lady's going to feed me, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and people shouldn't be so sensitive about it. But like, what about that? Are the kids ever accidentally like calling you mom? And would that ever cause jealousy or uncomfortableness with you being that you were the birth mom? They want, they want the children to love me. Like that would be bad <laughs> if if they didn't yeah. you know yeah. and they have absolutely called her mom or referred to her as the other mommy or referred yeah. to me as the other mommy <laughs> right um, <laughs> so you know and and no there's no jealousy there my hope is that they have that relationship mm-hmm. um because we are a family and we're mm. going to be supporting each other and god forbid anything happens to me right i need to know that that connection and bond you know, is is there. And so is the goal eventually for you to have children as well, Vanessa? That would be nice, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't happen, I already love the children, like my children, you know, they're... Uh, so you would just say naturally, great, but you are you wouldn't have... You don't have such a desire that you would go through like an IVF or something if there was an oh, ever an I issue. Would, or maybe you would? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would like to have at least one, but I'm not okay. like, I'm not like set, like, I have to have my own kids, you know, like right. it's not a... Uh, a driving force in my life like but it is for do you want more, he wants you want a more billion kids. children and do you want to carry any more children yourself you know ironically right now with my body that you you're talking about i'm actually enjoying getting my snap back yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah um but having naughty three years because neo and they knew it two years apart yeah naughty is three and a half years maybe um there was a time when i was just like this is I'm good, you know. But yeah. now that she's kind of getting a little bit bigger and independent, I'm kind of like getting that I baby could craving see again, having yeah. another baby again. But I'm I'm not rushing into that, and I there are some things that I want to get done that I feel like. Well, you would know. you guys ever want to plan your babies together? Because on Sister Wives, mm. there's three that are together. All three of them gave birth at around the same time, and they refer to them as the triplets. Did so I was watching that? the show, and I go. Which one carried the triplets? And then other people were like, no, they they say that because they're all juniors in yeah. high school. Like, they're oh. all... That's how my mom and her sister, my aunt, were. All of their kids were together. Actually, not all. Yeah. I didn't have one. I didn't have a right. twin. Yeah. Um, but my brother had... Has a, a cousin twin. twin. Yeah, yeah. A twin cousin and yeah. my sister, a twin cousin. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was something that I always thought of, but I, the longer it was taking us to attract this woman, <laughs> I was just like... Yeah, it's been nine have years. Kids. Like, we just got to get this, you know... Done. Well, I think the TV producer in me thinks this. if the show continues, whether it's continuing as you're one of a few couples or you get your own, I think you should try to get pregnant at the same time. I think that would be kind I, of fun. I think, I think that's a wonderful I idea. I think that could be kind of fun to watch. <laughs> she can have one first. And then, like, you know, and then one has morning sickness but the other doesn't and then oh, it's no, like pray it's not me. no but we want to be able to help each other so if we're both just I don't want either one well, yeah, I know. or you both I'm a have it and then he has to do everything point, I'm you never know <laughs> I'm a professional birther at this point so yeah. I feel like I can handle whatever literally right. is thrown my way right um, but yeah I mean I it could kind of be challenging so maybe there need to be a third wife or something in the mix so you think pregnant. do you think there will when would that start to happen a third wife yes uh, when it happens. I, and I, how do you think you'd feel? Like, I wonder if you would be as giving and as open as Ashley's been about a new chick coming along. I would hope so. I mean, she set a, a beautiful example of what it looks like to be so open, you know, with your children and everything. I think about that a, a lot. I'm like, man, like, I, I, I better be as open and like. But why would you want another one? Another wife? Yeah, like you guys have each other. So I get that's that's checked. You have the sister wife yeah. situation that's checked. Mm-hmm. I think you throw in a third. It's I, I, I have say. my reasons, but I'll, what I'll, is the reasons that you'd want a third? I personally, I've always said this. It's so um, cheesy, but I just like the number three. <laughs> that's the first thing. Like everything. Good, good is reason. Just so, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's three is a you have that, and you have your three babies, yes. and so, you have, so okay. there's that. Um, but that aside, I just feel like. Um, right now, we have each other. We have a husband that works like his ass off, which means he's taking care of us. Thank you, husband. Mm-hmm. Um, but then that means we're back down to the two parent household when he is working, and that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. So having a third wife, we that's like balance in my mind. I know. 
people think of balance as like two different things, but for me, balance is like. And we can get babysitters things. and nannies and all right. of that, but there's something different about like my one of my sisters is like you guys should just call yourself tribist tribist you know like we're it's like a tribe thing tribalist, it sounds corny yeah. but like yeah having just a household like our household is so full of this <laughs> love and energy and we're all talking everything it's yeah. it's a, just a beautiful thing so adding one more you know woman the right woman to that mix like i don't see it and like what about away. like chores and stuff because since you're the mom and the and it's your house i mean are you telling her how to do the laundry? Is there anything that, around the house that you're like, I got it. <laughs> I know how to do the hardwood floors. I'm hella floors. bossy. I am hella bossy. But that, I think that's because I'm also the oldest of my siblings. And that's just like natural for me. And I'm a hoarder by nature. Oh. By natu- I'm, and they're very well, That was clean. another show you could have tried I to get know. on. <laughs> I'm like bored. I'm like. She, she was deciding between hoarders or Dimitri. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Which one? Happen. I just, you know, rolled some dice. <laughs> Maybe this one might be healthier than keeping things from TJ Maxx from 12 years ago. <laughs> well, not that. I'm just like me- like messy. Like I can just like yeah. throw towels on the floor. I just don't. Like, I just don't hey, understand. Is this, is this yours? <laughs> did, you, did you leave this here? <laughs> I just, my, just, my brain doesn't to me, work. It takes like, less time to put it back the way yeah, it was found. Yeah, so they both have to, I'm like a uh, yeah. fourth child for them. <laughs> like, they're like, you know, she has to tell me how to fold sheets. I'm like, I don't, this fitted sheet, I don't yeah. give a fuck about it, but I will try to get it to fit in the Shit closet. Shit drives me nuts, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, there, I, and I'm sure it's annoying for me so yeah. I feel like I need to address it, but I know it's annoying for her to hear, here comes the lady with the issues you know well i mean if it was that big of a deal i would do something about it you know if i was and i've gotten better let's just get that out there right yeah. i'm not and so you said you guys you and <laughs> and ashley um have not did not officially ever get married because no. you knew this would be your lifestyle so what would be the point really hmm. but like what would happen right now you know if you were to purchase a home like who would be on title? Like, how do you work that out? Have yeah. you ever thought about that? Yeah, there's a couple ways you can do it. I mean, you know, anyone that put that finances the house can put their name on it. You know, and you can do that with a company as well. So, oh, that's good. That's yeah. True. So there's like, it's, so I always tell people like the only difference between not being legally married and having this type of union yeah. with legal instruments and fiscal instruments in place is that you can waive one piece of paper to get out of it. They have to waive four. Mm-hmm. That's the only difference. Right? But have so, you ever thought about? Because I know this is something for a step parent and. Um, you know, like it, when my daughter was my stepdaughter was under eighteen, I always thought, well, you know, if I ever did, Peter and I ever did divorce, I would have no say to ever seeing her, and her mother hated me. So it wasn't mm. like I could go to the mom, and if we were to, you know, not get along. So has that ever made you? I mean, right now you're in such a trusting relationship, mm-hmm. but I would think if someone was talking to you as a sister or friend, just go, you know, that's something. It's really hard. I have friends that have been stepmoms, married. They, they were with the kid from 5 to 11, and they break up, and that relationship just doesn't last, and the kid feels awkward. I mean, it's a lot to keep it going. So has that ever entered your mind of concern? I mean, it it has, but um, I guess in the same regard to, like I'm a, like, you're, like you're talking about, a monogamous relationship. I've dated guys with kids before. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get introduced to them. Sometimes I haven't, and it ends, and, you know, it's, you know, hard. It you mm-hmm. know, I think us living together, like if it was end tomorrow, it would be hard, but it would also probably depend on how things ended between us. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, if I s- stayed in California and I, things ended, you know, amicably between us, you know, be like, oh, can I, you know, gradually stop seeing them or see them every once in a while? I mean, we haven't talked about it. Cause you get to, not... Yeah, because you get to a point of what if, what if anything, right? Yeah, right. you know, so, if my exactly. aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. You know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> yes, just, or she might. She might. She, she might actually. <laughs> right. So, it's like it literally, you get to this point where you can what if yourself to the end degree. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and you just will handle it if and when that happens. Yeah. But until we then. We try to be mature, obviously. Yeah. Sometimes that's extremely challenging. Um, How is it challenging? Tell me a time that it was challenging. Just when people feel so hurt or have their own perceptions about the way things ended and they don't want to, you know, try or move forward Mm -hmm. in a positive way. They want to be angry and upset. Um, I feel like we do so much to try to talk and communicate and just be fair and honest and forthright about you know, our relationships, our disagreements and all those things that I can't really see this dissolving in flames. Yeah. Right. You right. know, if that was the direction that we were heading. And before before uh, Vanessa came along, like you'd mentioned that you 
you know, had someone that was a little more serious before the show aired and that didn't work out. Mm. And we saw that you had the one date with the stewardess girl and that moved too quickly. Mm. Well, how were there were lots of girls throughout those years where we weren't watching? Like how oh, yeah. like yeah. I mean, just, <laughs> yeah. could we, you just they, meet someone at the grocery store and then call you and be like, I met this really cool chick, we're gonna mm. go get drinks. Are you cool with that? Like, is that something that would happen in your relationship? Not like that specifically, but there have been plenty of times where he's met someone or I've met someone hmm. and we've, you know, chatted. And then if we felt like it was necessary to even have the conversation about this person being a potential, then we would then. Um, we tend to try to vet the prospects first because it's a lot of time. It's mm. like, well, and, and honestly, when you first meet people, they're really infatuated with the idea of it, but not the reality mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So kind of what they were speaking about earlier, like the amount of emotional intelligence it requires you to be in this type of relationship is ridiculous. Yeah. Like you have to show the fuck up and like own your shit. Like I broke it, I wasn't clear, I wasn't the best version of myself during this conversation, let's reset. Do you know how many people cannot do that? Do you know yes. how many people are unaware of their own shit? And so I can't, in monogamy, um, not to debtor monogamy, but mm. there's a certain dimension of, of monogamy that allows you to escape. You can have a whole nother life outside of your relationship and no one can know. You can mm. hide, you can invest yourself in working out or be with whatever, but I can't run. I have nowhere to go. If I'm emotionally deficient with Ashley, she's going to pick up on that. Like, I have to answer to that. So I have to step up. And I, I as a man, appreciate that pressure because mm. it, it helps me be more accountable. It helps me be uh, a better communicator. So going back to what Ashley noted about just having to communicate, like, look, if we say something's not fair, we're not responding fairly to the children or we're a bit short with each other. Like, we talk about that shit. Like, right here, let's have a conversation right now. And it's mm. not it's not a belabored thing. But we say, hey, you know what? That yeah. really was really probably wasn't the best, best way. way. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not something I... Yeah, I, I thought I was a good communicator, and I am a good communicator, but the level that, like, the honesty and, like, nope, we're going to talk all this out. We're in, you know, he's very good about, like, well, nope, we're going to work backwards and get to the real root of it. And so I'm like, I don't, because but, of, but, and then I'm like, okay, you're right. This is maybe why I'm acting this way. Because the first thing that we talk there. about is not the thing. Like, it's, like they say, it's never about the toilet paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, let's, okay, so the real reason why you don't want to do this is because you just don't want to, not because of all the shit you just told me. Right, so it's like getting to that level of, of authenticity and honesty is very, very key. The why, the the what is irrelevant. It's the why. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then what about like you know going forward and stuff, you know? And it's not your night, but you guys are horny in the afternoon, and like, do, is that something that you have to like clear or put in the eye calendar so that? <laughs> Ashley's aware that there was a boning that happened between 12.15 and 12.45 when the kids were napping and she was out at the doctor's. Like, I mean, how much... As long as the children are safe and breakfast is made or whatever meal you were <laughs> responsible for at that time, I don't really think it matters. <laughs> okay, so yeah. yeah. I just didn't know how strict the schedule was. No, the schedule is strict. The schedule Not for the, sleeping. The schedule for everything else outside of sex. Oh, for like making the established the cauliflower mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's yeah. right. That's not alkaline, but okay, I yeah. hear what you're saying. <laughs> okay, whatever. You're close. <laughs> making some kid friendly thing that yeah. look like something else. As long else. as yeah. that is good and every, yeah. you know, then what happens outside of that is what happens. So I mean well, when, when, okay, let's talk about the sh people on the show, the other people on the show. So there's Kermit the Frog, who I refer to as Kermit as the Frog. What is his name? His, name, his name is Colton. His name is Colton. Okay. He has his two wives, and he is just so weird. And I really feel like that first wife definitely, you know, was not thrilled a second one came and is not thrilled about shopping for a third. Like, she's just like... Well, I mean, I guess we should like her because in heaven it'll be us forever. Like she can't even escape like a sister wife she doesn't like in the afterlife. <laughs> and then she's just like, and then Kevin, or well, not Kevin, Colty is like, well, it's really kind of hard. We're finding we're not having as many people uh, respond to our online ad. And we took these great photos of ourselves with cowboy hats on. And I just didn't know. Um, so I was thinking. Heather. Do you think you'll ever get to a point where you guys have like a seminar and like pot people can meet each other? Because that's what Ke that's what Colty wants. Colton wants. I never assume honestly that they're all very nice. Yeah. You guys come off nice. No one comes off as an out. Well, you know what? I will say. Well, actually, they're way more. They're way more normal. Normal than they come off. Like we love. I think it's the camera. So me, yeah. her, and um, Sophie and uh, Tammy. Tammy are on uh -huh. like a Facebook 
group chat and like yeah. talking about all so- sorts of stuff that we were like, what? Wow, wow. they're yeah. like, no, I think so. You this. think so? You think? Okay, so I'm watching it thinking that the that the first wife of Colton's, I I think she likes the second wife, but I did not see. The connection, like between you, you know guys, what it is. they're so, just different. She's an introvert. So yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think too, oftentimes with a first wife, um, especially if it wasn't necessarily her idea or her kind of like yes. she's driving it, it could appear as if um, she's not willing or interested if she's still working through other parts of her emotional kind of yeah. well-being. So like. I am a person that doesn't get jealous very often, but that doesn't mean that other people don't and that if they do feel jealousy that they wouldn't want. A, I guess a that's, second that's the thing that's person. always bothered me about certain aspects of Sister Wives and other shows is that and why your story is so refreshing is because it was discussed before you guys yeah. got together. I always feel like in the past when we've seen it, like I always joked about. We've been, season, we've been married for ten years. Do you want in, another wife now? It's like really. Yeah, season yeah, one. Yeah, like even in the, but you know, like, but even in the scripted show, the yeah. HBO scripted show years ago. Big love. Big love. I love that show. It was it was the first wife. I forgot the actress, yeah. but the first wife had one child and they were happy, but then she had to get a hysterectomy, mm-hmm. and it was like. Well, I guess I'll be a selfish bitch if I don't let him marry someone oh, else and have these all these other kids. Yeah, that was always the show. thing that kind of stuck in my head, like, oh my god. And the same thing I believe happened with Cody because when Cody on Sister Wives married his first wife, she could only have that one baby, mm. and then and I could be wrong, so write me whatever. But then he got the <laughs> other wife, and throughout her journey, Mary, you know, for many years she tried to have more children and she couldn't, yeah. and you know, and now she's getting her own bed and breath she's kind of moving on and the other fa- the other people and I'm like but I think that what's interesting is that their connection to each other has really grown with their age yeah. like they really now he have each other's backs mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. and even Robin who I felt was brought in I never understood why they brought Robin in with her two other kids yeah. and you know and she was clearly like the cutest and the youngest and you know <laughs> but now she is so close to the sisters. Like yeah. you, now, you see that she's like, "Oh, this this is so and so style. Oh, this she wouldn't yeah. like this." Yeah. You know, like kind of leading into it. So, yeah, I kind of feel like he is like odd man out right now. Like yeah. that's what I've sort of noticed that you didn't see in the earlier seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It definitely takes time, because I'm sure it, had this show been capt- captured the early parts of our relationship, people yeah. would think that I just... actually, as a matter of fact, people thought. That there was um, that I couldn't have wanted this because I'd be like, nope, she ain't gonna work, or no, you know, like I would be very vocal about yeah. what I th- felt would work and would I felt would not work, and they always thought it was because I didn't want polygamy, and really it was just because I understood. She just didn't want that, too. right? Yeah. The the compatibility, and I understood the direction we were headed, and I knew that it would not work, and where we are today, not many people can sit in Vanessa's seat. Because it just takes a certain type of person and a certain type of openness and a certain type of understanding to a make perfect this... person. She's what she's saying. You have to be a perfect person. That, that's fine. That's fine. Just what say it. she likes me to but say. But it took Ashley and I a while to get here too. I mean, it took us nine it really years to, <laughs> you know, understand each other to be clear. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a man, obviously, right? So there's a different set of requirements and needs that uh, are important to me or that I may make a priority, Mm -hmm. which are different than hers. And by the way, she's a woman and knows women better than I do. So you add all that together, and then by the way, we're still trying to trying to mature our communication to the, its highest point. Mm-hmm. And it, sometimes it's shitty. It's it's not sexy. Mm-hmm. It's completely like not. Do sexy. you have people reaching out to you like to counsel them like on this lifestyle? Oh yeah, all, all, all the time, all the time. I mean, I got. Yeah. She's. I mean, obviously they they. Oh, get, you they could get, do a seminar. People could come. It could be a meet and greet plus tips. That's right. Of how to make this lifestyle work. Mm-hmm. First thing is uh, get your money up. You know, but it's uh, seriously. I mean, I have what guys. What do you mean, get your money up? There's guys that try to get into this life, and it's like you can't do this in an apartment with. Oh, you know, you, oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Get your money up for the yeah. Okay, yes. yes. You can't be broke, you know what I mean? Like, Got like, it. Yeah. So. yeah, that's what I always wonder too. Like, God, oh, this is a lot of stress. Like, and with the yeah, with the Aldridges, who's on the show, and you know, you don't know them, but you're watching it. Mm-hmm. Um, that that there that, that's odd because he's he this is truth and I've talked about it he had like a whole nother wife 
mm. and eight kids before that they broke up and then he found these two women and now they're looking for this other one. And the girl that was supposed to come and do their nails, like, she's not a match. She's like, they're super Christian. She's smoking. <laughs> she's got all these tats. She's, but I'm here's like, the thing. how would that girl match with this family? Well, but his like, wives, his wives co-signed to her being there. This is the thing. They're just so excited just to have someone else come hang. I mean, I feel like anybody would do. Every single you person, go they're like, you go right. through that. You literally go we through that too. in every family because for a really long time, nobody's interested. You're like crickets, you know? And then somebody's like, Oh, and you're what like, what do you well, mean? When you, can... when you guys were pursuing it, were you yeah, pursuing you it first... online or what? Yeah, Anywhere. when you first get into Anywhere. this Everyone. life, you're and like, what is the what is the online? What is it? There's Grinder, there's Tinder. What is you're this to like. find? Instagram. I haven't found them on Instagram. Why don't you start your own? God, I'm giving you 12 businesses. I did. Why don't you start your already, own? Already started. Oh, you already started an app. Got, we've got, well, we're, we're, we've got a lot of things in in the woodworks, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I think it's just it's really hard because mm-hmm. this is such a different way of living that anytime anyone shows you interest, you're just like, okay, I can work with this. You'll this settle for you'll be like, like, oh, she smokes, you know, oh, <laughs> she she likes like 300 monkeys. Like you'll like you're like, okay, I'll work it out. I'll take it. We'll, like, we'll, just, we'll, we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. out. You know, that's that's where the uh, 21 good? day alkaline plan. But why? Be. But why be so desperate for it if you guys are happy with each other? Like, why wouldn't you just wait? And see, like, hey, if we're out, if we're at a party, if we meet somebody, that's where we got to. But it takes it's some something. time to get to that point. <laughs> in oh, your, I see. The analogy is kind of like when you want a child, like you, because it's like you're not des- you, you're happy as being a couple, but you want a child, and you got work it. to. It's the same type of energy, got and it. that we're yeah, we're definitely happy. We're not doing this because we're in some type of deficit, right? But yo, like this is this is the this is where we're trying to go, and, right. and to that gonna, point, goal, what happens yeah. when you want a child that bad? You're usually it's not happening. You're just like, why can't we make a baby? And right. It's all of that energy that's building up and stress that's preventing that from just naturally. The stress happening. of what you want is actually sit keeping back you from and it. Not right. try so damn hard. Mm. Well, so how did the yeah. family? How did the? How did TLC find you or the production company? How did the show come about? I honestly don't know how they found me. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with social media. It was okay. never clear how they found me, but someone emailed me, and I was heading to Thailand, Dimitri. Uh, bought me a birthday trip uh-huh. to Thailand. Was it my birthday? I was close to that time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I was uh, about six months pregnant with Kanadia, and I just needed a break. Mm-hmm. So he sent me to Thailand, but right before I was going, someone sent me an email like, hey, we're doing this show, and we would really you know, be interested. And I was like... Now, how did they know that you guys were looking for a sister wife? Did it say I, it on your Instagram or what? It didn't <laughs> at the time, but um, I'm pretty sure that I posted something in the past about like polygamy or maybe hashtag something. Yeah. And it wasn't a thing back then, so maybe the hashtag brought up. And if they see like a sea of Mormons or Muslims yeah. living this, and then they see... My picture, they're like, oh, let, let's, yeah. you know, that's what I'm, I'm assuming, but it was never clear. I, I would have clicked your picture. Yeah. <laughs> so when they emailed me, I said, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm heading to Thailand, and you know, it's pro- probably not. We had um, it recently ended a relationship, and I wasn't trying to go there. I was and just how long to... was that girl in your life for? We Ooh. knew her for about five years, yeah. and uh, we had tried to, we had tried to. We would try to get into the relationship and it dematerialized very quickly. And that was one of those, it burned to the fucking ground. Like it yeah. was. It, oh, like it was, it ended angrily. Yeah, it was yeah. epic fail. So yeah. it was about, oh. that was, but and it always that chick for ever like come months. around now that you guys have reality fame or, <laughs> or like contacted you or? No, she's not contacted. She's not. Okay. No. Um, but because of that, I was like, we're good. Thank yeah. you. We're good. Went to Thailand. They waited. She's, they waited. I was gone, gone for about 15, yeah, yeah, half a month. They came, I came back, you know, I didn't think nothing of it. Ladies in my inbox again, like, hey, are you back yet? You know, we're still interested in having a conversation. So I talked to him. I'm like, listen, they're saying X, Y, and Z. Should we just jump on a call with them and s- at least understand what it's about? Yeah. Maybe it's not that bad. Right. Maybe it's some time out, like, you know, whatever. Talked to them, and they basically said that they were starting a documentation 
effort to oh that's what they always say yeah. they say so bring awareness they don't, they don't want to say reality yes. anymore right so, so when they say that do you know that, every housewife ever told me like in the early years when they'd approach them they're like we're doing a thing a on um, ch- moms who do charity like they wouldn't want to say no real way. housewives because yes. they know like it has oh. a stigma exactly. yeah. it's ratchet. and I would have had they yeah. said reality I absolutely would well because we talked about nope. this I'm like yeah. I mean you gotta fight your mom every Sunday and like your ass is in the air it's yep. a shit show it's yeah. a train wreck every we week and and so yeah Wait, so well, they, you have to fight your mom every Sunday. What does that mean? It's just that level of intensity. It's just always oh, it's very okay, obscure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> references a lot of time. But it's the crescendo of reality talk. It's the yeah, formulaic yeah, approach. Yeah. It's like it's the big fighting. It's the makeup. It's the yeah, big fight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so you have. To... Oh, you're what you've watched of reality TV. You thought that that they would be making you do it, that. It, it, okay, clearly, he doesn't it. watch a lot of reality TV. Okay, well, so I, that's I, why we would yeah. never <laughs> ever in my mind would have agreed to okay. reality TV because they gave us a different idea of what the show was right about we were like okay this could be interesting because we've not gotten to talk about you know polygamy they also talked about because it will be seeking a sister wife yeah that there could be support in helping us find a sister wife so we were like well shoot this sounds like it could be good let's just see you know yeah um and so once we talked to them and they they really liked us and Mm -hmm. kind of and i think their timeline was also running out too. Yeah. So they really needed another family. Right. And we were like, F it. I mean, what do we have? And since you've been on the show, I mean, what is it? Obviously your life has changed. You moved out to LA. Mm -hmm. Um, but like what how do you feel about being recognized and going to the grocery store and like and and how has your social media changed? Like one of my questions is you guys sort of talked via Instagram Mm -hmm. together, Dimitri and Vanessa. Are men pursuing you on Instagram? Are men pursuing you on Instagram? Like, are more chicks saying, "I want to get in with"? Like, how, do you, do you, um, Ashley, also control everyone's Instagram and passwords? Do you, can, do you control it? Everybody <laughs> thinks I control. It. I run this shit. <laughs> she's, they she's, think I run this shit. I'm at home with a whip like. <laughs> um, we control our own Instagrams. I do have a majority control over the Snowden family page, but that's because he's doing a million other things. Okay. Um, and I'm not very good at it, so I had to kick, kick her off. off. <laughs> I don't like, post very You good didn't content. like this picture. And, it's, yeah. and by the way, it's not even a matter of control. It's just really a matter of delegation, right? No, I'm joking about that. But yes. like, what about <laughs> yes. people yes. pursuing? I mean, anybody Absolutely. that's out there, you get some DMs, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, I'm getting a... Um, mixture of men women and couples yes but it's mostly women and couples like oh just come you can come travel with us come be with us because i think we're polyamorous and right I will yeah be sleeping they think with them we're both. polyamorous oh, sorry yep. yeah <laughs> and they think that it's not going to work so yeah. they're like, yeah, they're like you guys are so good fails, you know we're buzz. here like, yeah. right you. It's, it's and hard. what about now what about you have you ever if a guy was ever hitting on you somewhere and you were feeling it and your heart was saying I would be like damn I still got it <laughs> but you would never pursue it because the commitment's that strong or would you ever come to Dimitri and say you know I've met someone interesting that I would like to spend some alone time with like would you ever say that yeah it's funny we talked about um, before I, I forgot what it was or what the context was but like um, there was a guy that had his girlfriend date other men what was that do you remember that there was a guy that had a, his girlfriend date other men because he wanted her to appreciate him, <laughs> appreciate him, but but more so um, for him to see that there was a possibility that she could be taken away. So he had to step his game up. I C- wish I could C- remember. C- C- well, is this like I remember? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. no, it was like on social media. Uh, uh, um, the well, I mean, there's guys that, there's that too, where guys like, would you like to screw my wife and yeah. they want to watch. Well, I'm saying you pursuing your own yeah, thing so the reason separate I brought from that this. Up is because yeah. I remember when I first heard that, I was like, you know, wow, that's different and that's crazy. And I don't think I could do that. And the more that I've kind of honed in on my own personal energy, I understand that um, men are uh, a lot. They they have a lot of energy. It's a lot to. It takes a lot to balance them out. So it takes more women in my mind You're and the lot, way man. I see them <laughs> to balance out one man. That's why Got you it. have takes the village. patriarchy that we have now running rampant and crazy, and women just trying to clean it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Um, because that's kind of where we've gone as a society, as a culture. Yeah. So I personally don't have any interest 
yes. and trying to maintain those those high energy right. you know relationships. Now there are other women that might need that balance, mm-hmm. that might need more men in their lives to balance out their you know, overkill and the yeah. feminine energy. Mm-hmm. That's not me. That's not our family. Like, I feel like this works. And so I'm personally not interested in having mm-hmm. other men. Um, and, you know, if, if it ever did come to that, we would talk about it. I'm sure I know what the answer would be. What would and- the answer be? <laughs> no. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just not what we agreed to. I mean, we, we had the, the template for the family that we wanted to create right. was based on this one thing. So if there was a deviation from that, I, I, I mean, I don't think, I mean, right now I can say no, I'm not interested. And right. I, I, she's, she's her own woman. I don't own right. anybody. She can right. do what she wants. But the family would just look different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As, and- as far as how, how social media is treating us, like, people are fucking miserable. <laughs> people so are fucking i'm like jesus christ like wow man like you came all the way to my page to I write know. like like what are you that upset like are you okay you want a snickers you know what i mean it's, I, it's like, crazy we're very true i i i posted something you know mentioning something about the thing everyone's watching is the michael jackson leaving neverland mm-hmm. and i just kind of was talking about that Corey feldman had given an interview and i said something and this one wrote you are an awful person. He has three children that don't need to read this. And I wrote back and I go, but they don't need to read it. Like, they don't. Like, if I, if I was Paris Hilton, I don't think, that not Paris Hilton, Paris Jackson, yeah. Yeah. it's probably a really tough month, okay? Yeah. Right. Maybe maybe don't look at Twitter. Yeah. Maybe right. pick yeah. up a novel that doesn't involve, like, Are we supposed I, to just ignore like, all these Twitter allegations? Twitter is not, you're, you don't need Twitter and Instagram yeah. to it's survive. Okay. Yeah, right. Like okay. you can watch other things. Yeah. You can. That's what Netflix is for. You don't even have to see a commercial that might Absolutely. upset you. Like, Binge. So cut out those things. Or like yeah. someone, this one girl I write is that I follow is writing me all these cryptic messages about fake people and da da da. And I'm like, just stop following those exactly. people. Like, what is wrong? Nobody. You, you don't have to run into them at Starbucks. Yeah. So if you don't want to see their fun life on your feed because you're not <laughs> friends with them anymore, then just stop following yeah. them. Yo, the amount it's of like, time people invest. Yeah. and shit they don't like amazes me yeah. so listen yeah. our life is is what i call it it's a, it's a time remaining balance we only have a certain amount of breaths and minutes left why the fuck would you come yeah all exactly here? like why life that, is short why so and so and uh, it's please it's, keep watching people yeah, yeah, please yeah. Keep, no, well, i mean my, right. i got your yeah. viewership thank you yeah. fuck you very much i, guess. I, know, I do too i was <laughs> so, always like thanks for listening <laughs> but, sorry th- sorry this episode upset you hope yeah. you continue right. spread yeah. the word please. like what do you get because i used to get mad but then peter um, he is big Look brother. Look at these ratings. No, Peter's the big brother on the um, on the, some of the emails. Oh, yeah. So, so when sometimes if I would get kind of mad or whatever because I'm just exhausted when someone yeah, yeah. you know yeah. it hits you at different times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now I've learned because he's gonna read it, you know. So that I'm now I'm writing the cordial thing like. Thank you for that. I will keep it in mind. Yep. <laughs> and you know and like. You know, yeah. it's just, but it's hard. It's hard it's to hard. get used to. So how, what about people coming up to strangers life, on the street recognizing you? In real life, it's fine. I think, Isn't that kind of fun? Well, this, honest. Is, this is the thing. I mean, and <laughs> yeah. people will say, no, we'll never say the shit online that they will in real life, right? They're right, completely right. different. Um, but first season, like, I, I cried in season one. Oh, I didn't why? Understand. What was the meanest thing? People are so like... mean. <laughs> like, 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 what was the meanest thing that hurt your feelings I, the most? You know what it was? Honestly, it was two things. The first thing that hurt me was watching me back on camera. Looking at what I did, I was like, "Fuck!" Like I did that. What you mean, like with the story? With Jocelyn, girl? Yeah, yeah, that was me. Mm-hmm. You know, I couldn't. There's no, I can't. That's, I, I did that, and it was hard to watch. Wasn't what, it I, what I did? <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I can't blame it on the network or the producers. No, but yeah. I fucking did it. You know, what yeah. I, mean? I mean, still had to be cut in a way that made it right, great right. for you to tune in. But I, I did that. So that that sucked. And then part two was just. Um, you know, again, people, it's just like, you, you only saw me. So even that aside, it's like, I'm only on television for all S1 was like 41 minutes. Right. And you've come to this entire conclusion about my entire 38 years on this planet based on 41 minutes Yeah. with a Colgate and a Ford commercial in between that. Yeah. Amazing. We all right? do it though. I, I think I know everybody on TV. I this is your I problem, boo. Yeah. Well, I knew. I was like, I'm going to love Heather. And I do. Yeah, yeah. So I, I get but it. But it's part of that. You that's know? that's, that's part I mean, of it. It, it was, I mean, I'm good now. I mean, you know, it's like, nah, just, I, I'm like, whatever. I don't, I don't Yeah, he's probably shit. actually the better of all of us. I, I give like two I'm Putting the blinders I, I on. Yeah. yeah. I don't even read. Like, I don't. They When the show airs on Sundays, they're all on Twitter. They're both on Twitter. Yeah. I don't even log in. 
I'm just like, I can't. I just. I think it's whatever works for you. And I think that's yeah. true. That's what I was trying to say to this woman, like, and to the, my, this other girl. Like, if it's if it's too much for you, that's the easiest thing to, you can do. Just stop following that yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're not in your life or you don't enjoy them anymore. Like, just, you, yeah. no one has to, you don't have to see it and yeah. just get like so angry. Yeah, it it's like, you, then yeah, now you have this, what is, is this a tattoo, this red dot on your head? It's henna. Okay. It's a henna pen. And now your babies have it too. Mm -hmm. So do you keep it on them all the time or just once in a while? Yeah. All the and time. so how often do you have to reapply it? Well, because it's a henna based pen and your um, your skin around your pineal gland, because that's big word here. Okay. Um, it, it's very oily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Google that real quick. Um, yeah. The henna doesn't last. So you okay. have to reapply it. Okay. Yeah, you can wash it off. But yeah, your pineal gland. Because I was like, I didn't know if it was a, a birthmark that I'm like, oh my Most God, that's people crazy think it's a that the kids have the exact same birthmark. <laughs> Most people think that's what it is initially. Yeah. They're like, oh, that. Or they'll think it's a wound. <laughs> and what does that do for you? Centers yourself or what's the point? Yeah, I mean, it's my third eye, uh, one. So your third Before eye is Before you get a third wife. Yeah, you know I'm all about the threes. That is great. <laughs> I'm just saying. She is on it. <laughs> She's a professional. I have um, I've been wearing it for over six years now. Okay. Um, I've, and actually, I've been wearing it consistently for over six years now, but I've worn it throughout my life. I don't know why I was so drawn to this part of my face, because I didn't have the consciousness back then of what it meant, you know, for me. Uh-huh. I guess the more I understood and learned, um, the more it just felt natural for me. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's my um, intuition, a, re a daily reminder to myself to that I'm in control of this life. I'm in control of everything that comes to my mind. I think I you did create. mention this on the show now. I that did. reminds me. Okay, I, we're going to let you guys go. I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Now, a kid is sick or crying in the middle of the night. Who gets up with the child based on who's in the bed with you? Like, does the the single one that's not doesn't have Dimitri, is it that girl's job to take care of the child or you being the mom doesn't matter, you're getting up or you being the dad, you're getting up? Who gets up? Depends on the child, one. <laughs> Because um, yeah, the child actually has a preference. She has, no. <laughs> no, they do. It's but that's not, but in the middle of the night, like she has... Canadia with her and the so, baby yeah yes. so every night I'm a pretty okay. light sleeper and yeah so I usually hear and can get to the children the quickest the other two. so if one of the children. older ones is having like just like a like a little oh, yeah. like wake yeah. up which or happens need to, all the time or need yeah. to pee or whatever it yeah, yeah. All the time. if yeah. I can escape her clutches yeah. in the middle of the night without waking her up and sending the whole house yeah. into a fury then I will get up um for them okay. but usually it's her for Neo. Yeah. Neo's well, you're the getting one. up for the babies. <laughs> yeah. so my that's, the, that's different than your life in Seattle. Yes. Oh, the the the, the shock that I set myself up for. It was beautiful. I wouldn't change it for the world. But, but it was a huge change. Yeah. I mean, I literally just was like, would sleep all day. Yeah, you sleep TV. all day. You got yeah. your Vanity Fair. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just remember that. Like, just <laughs> never being able to sleep in. That's why I like to go on the road. One well, is no because now my kids it. are older, but I still have to like make these huge meals for them, and then I want to because I'm like, well, eventually they'll be gone. So let me, you know. Enjoy make it. Yeah. literally two to three breakfasts each. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, but um So do you want a sister wife? Now have we have we uh Can you handle it? Can you handle it, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's true though, but like i I'll tell you like I'm going on vacation with my sister and we're not bringing the husbands. We're doing that for spring break. Oh, We've never nice. really done that. But mm -hmm. my older son doesn't have the same vacation as her kids oh. and my kids. Mm. So I was like you want to just sister wife it? And she's like, yeah. And I go, how does Michael feel that? She's like, for Michael to be alone in this house for six days, her husband, she's He's like, like yes. he doesn't care. <laughs> and Peter and Drake, you know, Drake has a different vacation. So he, someone has to stay with my older son. And so I'm like, yeah, I mean, I there is just that. Like when people would joke about Oprah and Gail being gay, mm -hmm. I'm like, I never in my life thought they're gay. I'm like, a lot of women just want to hang out with women. Like oh, so many parties now are just like, it's a girl's dinner. I'm like, mm -hmm. like we literally every yeah. time someone's like, we're celebrating. I'm like, husbands, no husbands. Mm -hmm. Like constantly. <laughs> well, that's why I have starting so, yeah, to happen it. more and more, yeah, kind yeah. of, because it's like the girls like to do what they we like to do because we know how to yeah. we know what balance yeah. means. And yeah, like, like I had this thing called Heather Fest, 
and it was just a day with like all my USC sorority. It was our, they were everyone was coming to town. It was like eight girls, and we got shirts, and I'm like, I'd bravo on, and we had oh, nice. rose. And then Peter came so home fun. at the end of the day and like got us all this food. And then you got to hang out with us at the end. But like, <laughs> we were like, ser- <laughs> seriously, we didn't even go out, out. Like, we just mm-hmm. hung out at the pool in the jacuzzi and just talked. And I think that's like what. <laughs> women like so it's like I, I find the whole thing so interesting you guys are really entertaining to watch and you're so nice and uh really great so thank you, thank you. i hope the show never ends i'm totally obsessed <laughs> and i'm like at, at times i'm disturbed and then but not i'm not really disturbed by you guys i'm just sometimes disturbed by some of the the mormon like not mormon because i just can't say that they get really mad at me for the people that are doing it sort of like traditional yeah, like the mm-hmm. God reasons, and I, if I feel that like one of the women is not into it, that's where it that's bothers me. Right, you know, I don't think right. it really bothers anybody, mm-hmm. except when you think like someone's gotten sucked into it, or yeah, it wasn't originally the, what they signed yeah. up for, mm-hmm. or they're feeling left out or hurt. Yeah, mm-hmm. then that's kind of hard. Like with the Aldridges, those two sisters, those two girls are totally on the same page. Yeah. So I'm like, I love okay, yeah. Yeah. and you know, and they really want that other girl because I think. <laughs> Well, Those she's answering all the kids. Qu- that's a lot. I mean, I do think a lot of it is helping. Well, Jennifer's answering all the questions, you know, correctly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we can see that it doesn't yeah. look like a Well, we're going to find out. So we're taping this before Sunday's episode. So I don't know what happens if Jennifer shows up in the Aldridge family, but your sisters show up. My sisters are coming mm. to visit. Yeah. And, you know, that dun, happens dun, a dun. lot, too, with... Um, Traditional sister wives families, a lots of sisters marry the same guy. Do any of your sisters want to get with Dimitri? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Is that, is that a thing? The yes, that happens marry a the lot. Same? Yeah. Lots of times the sisters do because it's like this community <laughs> and it just happens. Absolutely. No. 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 And oh, how no. do they feel about it? Because you can tell us because it won't, we'll have seen the episode. Oh, um, they are not thrilled. Okay. Amy's, uh, she, she, Amy's just kind of hippy dippy. She's, adorable um younger sister um my twin sister though she's she's got are you guys some identical um yes what do you mean why are you looking like uh, that I, I, either I either the embryo no. split or it didn't well when we were born we need a blood <laughs> test because um we had one huge umbilical cord that was fused together so doctors aren't sure if it was one that sp- split or if it was two and they got connected because they were um they were actually connected oh the milk so they're like you need a blood test and we never got the blood test well, the, really well first of all they're still twins because you have it's either one sperm splits into right. two eggs yeah, we know. or you have two identical eggs. fraternal is what she was asking yes yeah. identical like are you identical yes, if i had to guess we but... look identical i would say we were fraternal sound. just because if it was two no if you're fraternal course... it's different sex but if you're Ide- if you're identical <laughs> if you are identical you will have the exact same dna Yes. So if you murdered Dimitri, you could pin it on your sister. True. Nice. But we need we need the, the blood test. It's just based on the umbilical cord right. being fused. So I would find that out. I know. I'd find out if she has the same important. DNA. I know, I know. I watch a lot of Dayline. So, oh, I do. Yeah. I love it. So, I listen to a lot of, um, That's lot really of, interesting yeah. about so, identical twins. Damn it, nobody else has. <laughs> yes. So yes. I know one day we'll get the blood test and I will let you know. Yes. Nice. <laughs> well, I wonder if then you'll be susceptible to having twins. Well, my naturally. brother had fraternal twins. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's we'll hereditary. See. Yeah, we'll see. She doesn't have kids yet either. So then you have we'll two. You have one, and then you guys can say we got the triplets. Now. I'm just saying. Yeah, and we call Nanu and Neo the twins already now. We sometimes. do because they're peas in the pod. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're so two pod, but they're still they're, they're peas in the pod. That's so cute. Mm. Well, thank you so much, you guys. So thank follow you. the show. It's every thank Sunday. You. How many episodes do we have left after? So we just up. passed the halfway mark. Um, we have some exciting stuff coming for the rest of the season oh, as well. Some yes. twists and turns. In, oh, your, in your life. In our story. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you got it. You guys got it. Do you get the it. episode like a week early or no? As cast members? Uh, Do they let you know so that you can talk about it on Twitter? No, no. We watch We watch it with everyone else. Yeah. Okay, and then do you? Um, will there be like a reunion like they do for Ninety Day Fiance and stuff? You have to tune in you and see. You have to tune in. Okay. Well, I would. I, if they haven't picked the the, the host, the host. <laughs> I really think it should be me. They were looking at me for Ninety Day Fiance, and then I didn't get it because that's another show. But I like, but you know, I, but I think I I might have you know. Made a little bit too much fun of them. But I make fun of this too, <laughs> so I don't know. But I, I love great. the show. I promote the show. So there you go. Thank you thank guys you. so thank much. You. The Snowden so much. family. Yay, thank you, Ooh. Thank you so much. And Peter. And Peter. <laughs>